Hey, I'm Johnny Hawkins, and uh, I'm here today with my sister, Elena Hawkins, and we're here to uh, run through some basic exercises that you can do at home to stay fit and moving. Uh, the first exercise we're going to be doing is upper body exercise, uh, basic push-ups. For this push-up, though, we're not going to have our hands out wide. We're going to hands out, have our hands a little narrow, shoulder width, going straight down. So if you can see from the side, I'm here, back straight, shoulders over my hands, elbows stay glued to my sides, and I'm back up. Back up. Okay. Now, we're working more on our triceps rather than our chest. So our, the closer our hands come, the more we're working on our triceps. If we're having our hands out wide, we're going to be working on our chest. And today, have your hands about shoulder width, shoulders over hands, shoulder width apart, elbows straight, glued to your sides. Plan. Show them a modified version to where if you can't do uh, at least 10 push-ups um, with your feet up, then you're going to put your knee down the mat and do a modified push-up. So Helena, I'll show you. Have your hand, elbows stay by your sides. There you go. Now show them. Go to the side, Helena. So our shoulders are still over her hands. She's on her knees. She goes straight down. There you go. Back straight. Good. And a couple more. Good. All right. Thank you, Len. So for these, um, if you can't get 10, you should be doing the modified. You should get at least 10. Uh, now, the reps, the amount of reps will vary, but you should be doing four sets of 10 plus. So if you could do, if you could do 20, great. Do 20. Um, so four sets. So you should be doing one set of 20. Take at least 30 seconds, 30 second break. Do another set of 20, 30 second break, and do it two more times, uh, completing four sets of 20, or four sets of 10, depending on um, where, where you're at. All right, so for our next exercise, we're gonna be working on our core. Um, so we're gonna be doing two exercises back to back. Um, so we're gonna superset them. Where the first one is gonna be regular sit up, working primarily on your upper abs, um, and the whole, you know, your whole core as a whole, but the second exercise will be working more on your lower abs. So the first exercise can be regular sit-up. Knees up like this, cross your arm, sit up. Okay, it's all the way up. Not, now, if uh, you're by yourself and you can't, um, you just cross your arms, you're going to use your hands to put your hands above your head and use momentum. There you go, she's going to swing her hands in order to do a full sit up if she can't. Uh, just use uh, her arms crossed. Just like that. Good. And the next exercise is going to be you're going to be on your back, hands under your butt, legs straight, and feet to the sky. Leg raises, just like that. Not touch, they don't come down, touch the mat, about six inches off the mat, coming up. Okay, so this is going to be working on your, more your lower abs. So, plan your shoulders, hands under the butt, legs straight. Good, straight up. Yeah, keep them straight all the way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep them straight here and straight up. Good. Good. Okay, so when you're doing this, she's going to do, so stay on your back, she's going to do 10. So when I say superset, you're going to be doing this back to back. So you're going to, one set is going to be 10 sit-ups, so do 10 just do a couple sit-ups, and as soon as she finishes her, her sit-ups, she's going to go down, put her hands under her butt, and then go straight into her 10 leg raises. Good. Right after it. Yep. Good. Right. Thank you, Elena. So, again, for this exercise, you're going to be doing approximately four sets. Um, try to get at least 10, 10 sit-ups and 10 leg raises. If you do more, great, but try to get 10 sit-ups right after, and then 10 leg raises immediately afterwards. And lastly, for our third exercise of the day, we're gonna be working on our legs. So we're gonna do stationary lunges, we're gonna have our hands on our hips, and for this, for these type of lunges, so if I, if I drew a line right between my feet, and I'm gonna be stepping right on that line and going down. Now this is going to be working more on our quads, whereas if I step over to the side like this, we'd be working more our hamstrings and glutes. So for today, working just our quads, hands on hips, stepping straight forward, 
and going down. So if I show you from the side, my hands are here, I'm stepping, and lowering my knee straight down. You can touch the mat, it doesn't really matter, but you can go straight down, and you're gonna come back, do the other leg. Straight down, other leg, and you're gonna do a total of 20, so 10 each leg. So if you count one, two, all the way to 20, or you do one, one, all the way to 10, Either way, it's the same thing. Um, for this, you're going to be doing four sets, just like the other, other, uh, other exercises. Four sets of 20. Um, so, Helena, can you show us it one more time? Good. See us keeping her back straight. And then switch the other leg. Good. And back. Good. And thank you, Helena. So, if, if you guys are a little bit strong. You can do a modified either with kettlebells like we have here today, or you can do it with dumbbells, it doesn't really matter. So I just hold by my sides and lunge. Okay. That's gonna add a little bit of weight, get you bigger and stronger. Alright, and that completes um, our last exercise. So again, four sets, 20 reps or 10 each leg, um, with 30 seconds in between each set as well just like that as exercises. And just another way that you guys can do this, especially for you guys that are maybe more advanced or a little stronger or feel doing individual exercises aren't enough. So one way I do this is uh, doing them all together. So if I start out you know, with my push-ups, I'll start with my push-ups, as soon as I finish that set, I go straight into my sit-ups, right? I finish my sit-ups, I do my leg raises. As soon as I finish that set, I go into my lunges. So I'm here. All right, and have that be one big set. So that's whole one set. Take a short break again and do it three more times. Completing another four sets. This is going to give you, you know, less time to recover. Uh, it's going to make you more tired and stronger. Um, so if you feel a little stronger uh, and you feel doing individual exercise is going to be too easy, you can do them all as one set and maybe that will do it for you.